What's going on Nation UK Vape here and welcome. Today we got Joytech. Oh, I can't remember last time I brought Joytech. Uh, it is the Espion Tool. Uh, dual 18650 mod. Does 220 watts of power. Uh, TC, TCRs, all that good stuff. Uh, before you ask, on the top I have my Kai Solomon. Is Solomon? Yeah, Kai Solomon version 3 this mod is completely made of plastic but very sturdy plastic you got a lot of shapes going on in there even on the bottom extremely comfortable but obviously we go to all of that on the open close so what are we gonna do now we're gonna espion tour now obviously it's gonna be most of it uh made of plastic a uh, very hard plastic very very um sturdy plastic feels very very nice on the top you're gonna have very old school 510 going on in here but it works great um some of it is a very very hard uh, spring load you will have a travel on to it but very very hard some atomizers you you, you kind of have to push them you know if they have kind of protruding pin you really have to kind of push and then screw um even the first tank I, I threw in here, I was like, holy hell, what the hell is going on? It's not working. But other than that, the connection is very, very good. And as you can see, everything sits flush. You're going to have like, it's like a meal gap. Nothing too big, nothing too bad. This is a 24. Uh, obviously, 25 will be your maximum before you start to have any overhang. Here, you're going to have your fire button. It is concave very very comfortable very clicky i really really like it you really match the shape of your finger very small screen old school screen up and down uh charging port slash um firmware up upgrade you're gonna have logo joytech very discreet very nice this also feels very very nice in the end uh like i said very sturdy plastic venting going on on the back you're gonna have your battery door it's gonna be old by three magnets two on the top and one on the bottom and this let me tell you it is extremely secure again you're gonna have it's kind of indentation very very nice feels very comfortable also the door as you can see it's kind of concave all the mod it's kind of concave and it really is gonna be very very comfortable to old so battery compartment um very simple gonna have venting going on there for your board here spring load contacts uh i mean the marking not very very visible i wish they were marking some kind of color dual 18650 so negative on the top positive on the top battery very very nice battery bam and you're ready to go so the screen very uh, old school screen but with all the information you need so you're gonna have power and power goes up to 200 watts and it goes very very fast 220 sorry by 0.1 increment um you will not um it will not run robin so one watt increment actually and then when you reach about yeah it's one watt increment i don't know why they put 0.0 you see it still goes by one watt oh yeah here we go till 19.9 it will go by 0.1 and then one watt increment so very very nice to include this option in here um because most of the people will do mile too long uh like to have a point in there you know like 19.5 maybe but then when you start to fall in the sobo Sobom or RDAs or RTAs, you want a one watt increment, so very, very nice. You're gonna have the ohms on your coil, volt supply, amps, and battery one and two indicator. You press one, two, three, it's gonna bring you into the setting. So, mode is gonna be obviously variable uh, voltage TC, so temperature control TCR. If you go to TC, then you can choose if you want nichrome, titanium, or stainless steel. If you choose for example stainless steel now you are in stainless steel mode it goes up to 315 celsius celsius run robin to fahrenheit 600 and run robin back to celsius 
And here is going to be exactly the same, except that now you're going to have your power in there. Now, for instance, if you want to change your watts, because I, as you can see, it's, uh, 220 watts, you press obviously one, two, three. It goes to the menu and you go to set, set power. All right. And now you can adjust the power. Now I know going to the menu to every time, but as soon as you have it set, uh, you should be fine. So back to exit. Here we go. And exit again. Here we go. So now you are in 60 watts. Now, if you press up and down, it's going to lock your keys. And again, to unlock fire and plus and fire and minus does nothing. One, two, three. So uh, mode, we saw it already. Let's go back to normal variable voltage and here in set. Obviously, you can set the coil if you think it's not right. Here, you, obviously, is the power I already showed you. Stealth mode, so if you want to vape without the scream. Sub para is what you want to have on your left corner, you know, amps, time, or puff. So, time is not going to be the clock, it's going to be the time that you press the fire button. We're going to live in amps, but they have a lot of options. Uh, very, very nice. Some people like puff counter. Then logo, uh, I'm not really sure. I couldn't get so if you want to like, maybe have the logo on or off, not really sure. I think at the moment is actually off. So if you put on uh, pre eat, if you want to choose your pre eat when you press the fire button, timeout of the screen, and finally exit. And here information uh, of the battery, so it tells you how many volts you have available, the version of your software and firmware, exit and back to exit so yeah very very simple menu to operate um i wish they had the combination key just to change you know uh in there uh when you in temperature control but other than that very very small nice screen very comfortable mode very very sturdy so we cover all this up we're gonna come back on top i tell you where you can get it price and we run to pros and cons And we're back, and that was the up and close for the Espion 2 by Joytech, where you can get it and price. Fasttech.com, I will leave a link on the description, between $34 and $36, depending on the color you choose. Um, that is, let's say, 30 32 UK pounds. Uh, it's kind of cheap for this bad boy. Colors available is kind of low. You got white, black um i mean all black this one is white doors white button and a little bit of black you're gonna have green with some white going on red with some white going on uh blue i mean a lot of colors a lot of colors so let's go to pros and cons um first con a bit nicky picky it is the the 510 uh even though it looks very old school 510 uh, some atomizers with kind of protruding pins, you kind of have to press it first and then turn. I was a bit scared when I got it. I thought it was broke because I couldn't get I can't remember which tank it was I was trying to pull on the top. I couldn't get it. I was like, is some kind of mechanism going on in there? That I, I don't know, a locking mechanism? But no, it's just that 510 that is very, very, the spring is very, very hard. Um very tiny gap on the top i even don't point to that as a con another small very tiny con it is the marking on the inside for the batteries i wish it was a bit uh, more visible other than that this mod is only pros uh, i mean first of all it has to be very ergonomic you know all the shapes going on it feels very comfortable on the end even this you know this lines that these grooves that they put in here it is very comfortable the fire button concave fire button mm, i love it very comfortable very clicky very responsive nice menu nice chipset very easy to use um, everything you need in there all the information that you need um there's a lot of power i like the 0.1 increment till the 20 watts and after 20 watts one watt increment does not run robin but it scrolls extremely quick fits 25 mil atomizers on the top pretty nice for a dual 18 650 
magnets on the battery door oh they're nice look at that i show you on the open close but oh no rattle nothing for plastic mod even though it's a very sturdy plastic this one is very very good i like that they they put joytech and espion tool on the sides extremely discreet no big branding um i think they've done a hell of a job on this one uh, and for the price you can't get it wrong i mean it is a very good one that will definitely recommend so i will we're gonna wrap it up i will leave a link on the description thanks for everything don't forget to like and subscribe i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time till there keep vaping